Now let's move on to the third example. The cost price of a laptop bag is 500 pesos and the desired markup percentage is 25%. How much is the selling price? Kagaya ng problem natin kanina, ang given sa atin ay yung cost price at yung markup percentage. So gagawin lang natin yung parehong process kanina. So first things first, we're going to enumerate all the given. So sabi natin meron tayong cost price which is 500 pesos. And then we have a markup percentage which is 25%. In order for us to determine the selling price, we're going to find for the markup first. Then the selling price. Using the formula, markup is equal to markup percent times cost price, we can determine the markup of this problem. So we have now markup is equal to 0.25 times 500 by substituting all this given. Therefore, our markup is 125. Now that we already know what the markup is, we can now substitute the values to the next formula, which is markup is equal to selling price minus cost price. Substituting all the values, we're going to have 125 is equal to the selling price minus 500. Applying the equality property, we're going to transpose this 500 to the other side of the equation. Since it is negative, it will be positive when transposed. Therefore, we're going to have 500 plus 125, which is equal to the selling price. Therefore, our selling price is 625 pesos. Again, problem solved. Now let's move on to the next example. How much was the cost price of a leather coin purse sold for 250 pesos if the markup percentage is 20%? This time, yung problem natin ay trickier. Bakit? Kasi ang hinahanap ngayon ay cost price. Kung mapapansin ninyo sa dalawa nating formula, pareho silang may cost price. So, anong mangyayari kapag yung cost price na yung nawala? Anong formula yung gagamitin natin? Yan ang aalamin natin sa example na ito. So, first things first, we're going to enumerate all the given. So, ang given natin ngayon ay yung ating selling price na 250 pesos at yung ating markup percentage na 20%. Again, Para malaman natin ang cost price, kailangan ulit nating hanapin ang ating markup. And after finding the markup, we can now find our cost price. So, anong formula ang una natin gagamitin? Since meron tayong markup percentage sa given, pwede natin gamitin yun. So, we have the markup is equal to markup percentage times cost price. Substituting the available values, we can now have markup is equal to 0 0.20 times cost price. Ngayon, as is lang muna natin si cost price as CP. Gawin natin siyang isang variable. Magiging ganito ang itsura niya. Markup is equal to 0.20 CP. So, hayaan lang muna natin siya as this one. And then, let's use the second formula. Markup is equal to selling price minus cost price. Substituting all the available values, we can now have this. Nakita nyo dito na dun sa markup natin, ipinalit natin yung isang buong 0.20 CP. Kasi tinrate natin siya as one variable. So dito siya lalabas ngayon, 0.20 CP. Or tinrate natin siya bilang isang term is equal to 250 minus CP. At meron na naman tayo isang CP dito. Therefore, itong cost price natin dito, pwede natin siyang itranspose sa kabilang side. 
kung naaalala ninyo yung combining like terms, ganito yun. So, transposing this, we will now have CP plus 0.20 CP. Alam natin na kapag yung term ay walang nakalagay na numerical coefficient, meron yung automatic na 1. Therefore, pag pinag-plus natin sila, siya ay magiging 1.20 CP is equal to 250. And then, in order to isolate CP, we can now divide both sides by 1.20. Therefore, our cost price when calculated is 208 pesos and 33 centavos. Problem solved. And now for our last example, we have now how much was the cost price of a television sold for 14,250 pesos if the markup percentage is 20%? So pareho lang ito nung nakaraan nating problem. Ang nawawala ulit ay cost price. At ang given sa atin ay yung selling price at yung markup percentage. Therefore, ito yung mga given natin. Yung ating selling price is 14,250 pesos and the markup percentage is 20%. We're going to look for the markup amount and the cost price. Ang una nating formula na gagamitin ay yung merong markup percentage since yun yung meron sa given natin. So substituting all the values, we can now have markup amount is equal to 0.20 times CP. Again, gawin natin siyang isang term since wala naman tayong cost price. In the next formula, we can now substitute all the given at saka yung markup amount na meron tayo. So, substituting 0.20 CP to our markup, we're going to have 0.20 CP is equal to the selling price which is 14,250 minus our missing variable which is the cost price. Doing the equation, transposing this negative CP to the other side of the equation, we're going to have CP plus 0.20 CP is equal to 14,250. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, kapag ang ating variable or ang ating term ay iisa lang at wala siyang numerical coefficient, automatic siyang merong katabing 1. Imaginary na nakalagay dyan, invisible. So 1 plus 0.20 CP that is 1.20 CP is equal to 14,250. Dividing both sides by 1.20 to isolate CP on the left side of our equation, we're going to have now our cost price which is 11,875 pesos. Problem solved.